So, um, in, um, in in promo, we have uh, uh, we have a problem. Well, we have plenty of problems, but we have one specifically with uh, social media. Um, we have uh, uh, to we post a lot to social media, and we post to many places on social media to cover a wide spectrum of, of people and to reach uh, a lot of people um, so uh, uh, it, this is a very error prone uh, and long uh, not long but tedious process because we have to do it by hand uh, uh, we do not publish uh, the same message to different platforms uh, although the the content may be the same the form may change so if we uh, what we post to facebook and to Re uh, to facebook and twitter for example may have a different phrasing as to what we post to linkedin because linkedin it has is more professional so we can't be so chatty or what we post to reddit because reddit users well they're quite particular and so they don't respond the same to to uh, what we do on Twitter and Facebook, et cetera, et cetera. Obviously, when we post to Instagram, again, it changes because it's more, Instagram is a more visual uh, medium, et cetera. So it's, we, when we have to post something to, to, to social media, uh, there's uh, quite a lot of work involved, right? And, and it can take quite long. And as I say, it's quite error prone because you can post something and then you realize you've got a mistake and you have to take it back or, or whatever or you post the wrong message to the wrong uh to the wrong um uh platform and then you have to take that back and substitute it with the new one etc that is the first problem we have we have another problem that is about scheduling so uh, we can a lot of platforms have a, a scheduling feature that allows you to post stuff at a later date or at a later time so you can post stuff for example that you need to post for um uh, another time zone that is not yours you can post it at four o'clock in the morning but you don't have to stay up so you can post it but not all platforms have it uh and every platform implements scheduling in a different way and uh, that is again is uh, is a bit of a mess so for example if uh Twitter has scheduling through TweetDeck, Facebook has scheduling built in, Mastodon has scheduling built in also, but no actual, um, you can't do it from the web interface. Uh, you have uh, scheduling can only be done from a mobile application, so you can't do it from a desktop client either. Uh, Reddit has just included scheduling for mods, but if you're not a mod, you can't use scheduling, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, and as I say, they're all different. They all use different uh, formats, and so it's a mess. You have to, again, it takes a lot of time, and uh, it is not convenient. We have another problem with uh, social media, in that um, we're talking about credentials here, about accessing stuff. So some platforms do uh, implement. Uh, uh, users uh, that have different privileges that access different accounts so you can have a team so on Facebook you can have an admin and you can have an editor and they have different privileges editors can only post and admins can do things like post but also they can ban people or they can uh, remove comments and stuff like that uh, tweet deck also has a certain degree of, of um, um, credentials and um, and roles. Mastodon has nothing, Peertube has nothing, Reddit has mods, but uh, that is a, a different thing altogether. So um, basically uh, on many of the platforms we put, I think Instagram doesn't have any uh, any roles either in any shape or form, and it can, can, can confirm this. So on those platforms that don't have roles, uh, it's either all on or nothing. So uh, if somebody wants to post to 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 Mastodon, for example, they have 
access to everything. They could com delete the whole account if they wanted instead of posting. They could do all sorts of things. Um, this, of course, is also a problem. Oh, uh, we have looked into uh, existing solutions, and they they do exist. There is a famous one called Toot Suite, which you would probably have heard about. The the logo is a little now, a little out, yeah. And uh, there are many more. There are a whole dashboards for posting to to social media, but they don't really help us because uh, because of, of several problems they have. So the first one is represented graphically here. None of them are free in any uh, sense of the word. So they all you 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 always have to pay for them or you get, you know, uh, a, a very watered down version that only lets you post nothing, not not what what, what we want. Or, and they are also all proprietary, which comes with another problem, and that is that um, they are a bit spy. They uh, part of their their business also means um, harvesting uh, the the data that really is should be for you, right? About your users and about what you post and so on, which is. <laughs> does not uh, marry well with, with any of our principles. Um, the other problem they have is that, OK, I didn't know how to represent graphically a service, so I just drew a dot. So they ignore the existence of the Fediverse completely. You know, they have the, the typical things. They have uh, anything that becomes popular and is proprietary goes. So they have Twitter, they have um, YouTube, they have Facebook, they have Instagram, TikTok, etc. But there's nothing like Mastodon or uh, Diaspora or anything like that. So uh, and when we post to the, these places, we uh, have a special interest in, in promoting our stuff on the Fediverse because that is ooh, that is sort of like the 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 ecosystem of of um uh social media platforms that most uh, uh we can most identify with and the final problem that these services have is that they are very um inflexible they are so it, you get what you get if another platform comes along that you are interested in you have to wait until they implement it or and if they don't have no interest in implementing it then you just don't get to post there via their their service and that's it so so these things exist but they do not would not work for us very well and the, the fact is that we have been going after this solving this problem for literally years and we have never found a service that would help us. So enter our solution. And I'm going to play a video. I hope you can hear it. If not, Adam, please tell me if if you can't, can't hear it. I'm going to transfer. This is always a bit dodgy. I'm going to transfer uh, the, the the screen control to, to the video player. This is Manaf. Uh, uh, my colleague running a demo of what he developed during a season of, K of KDE to solve this problem. Uh, this is a, a, a proof of concept. Stuff works. So let's see if you can hear it. If not, Manaf can explain later what's going on or live or whatever. So let's see. Here we go. I'll make that full screen. And here it goes. OK. So good evening, everyone. And hi, I'm Manas. And today I'm going to give you a short demonstration for computer. So the social media app I built during us, OK? And the idea of computing was that the promoting used to spend a lot of time Posting to different platforms, the content was same or similar. 
So I wanted to work on this application that would let you post just to one place and it would then post accordingly to the other platforms. So the app itself is built on top of FastAK. So if we let me just uh, also show you how to actually run the app itself. So step one is to export the parts for the credentials, which are the like all the social media credentials. So we need that environment variable set. And then we can run the main server. Okay, so yes, work on. Yeah, so we now that we have the server ready, let's get to localhost 8000. Here we are. So uh, currently there is no client. I worked on the server. I am currently working on a CLI client. So meanwhile, let's just head to slash docs which is the documentation endpoint for the Swagger UI. So basically Swagger UI will let you test and mock APIs. It's similar to oh, Sorry, Paul, you need to unmute yourself. It's the sound is coming from the mic. Sorry. Okay. So let's just get the posting. So the Platforms that are currently supported are Twitter, Mastodon, and Reddit. So first of all, uh, let's let's just go to all platforms. I'm just going to type all the image that we have a test image in the main directory as well. So I'm just going to say test.png. The text is let's say the text is going to be never going to give you that. the time. So now I'm not adding a time right now, but you could add a date timestamp over here. And you could specify what date and what time to post. Uh, so currently, if you don't add a time, it gives you a buffer of two minutes. And after two minutes, it posts automatically. So let's enter the Mastodon base URL. So my Mastodon account is registered with Mastodon.com. The subreddit that we're going to post to is Python and log. Uh, the Reddit text is never. You, you are never gonna let you. Okay. So now let's just execute this. So it says start the scheduler to using this to start the jobs, and then it gives us an ID for each of the jobs. Now if I go to sched start, and let's just start. It says scheduler started. Now if I do there's another endpoint that you can call with the scheduler. It's sket get. So you can do this to get what the jobs are currently. As you can see, uh, let me just zoom in a little bit. As you can see, we have the ID and the date time over here. So it's 5:36 IST. Currently, it's 5:34. So for the next couple of minutes, let me talk a little bit about the text tag that is used over here, and then we can see the post actually happen. So the primary text stack, as I have mentioned before, is fast API that powers all this, this entire packet. Other things that you can do with this are basically you could potentially, of course, you have a ping endpoint to just check if the server is running properly. And then you could, put, uh, you could also you look at the user's endpoint to see your user information, which I'm not going to do right now. And and you can have post to the token endpoint for authentication. So it's 35. Let's wait for one more minute. So another thing which you could do, which I'm not going to do right now, but you could potentially go and just add the, you could call the cancel endpoint with an ID. So you could just paste this ID over here and cancel the job. I want to demo on three, so I'm not going to cancel the job right now. And uh, after, so with fast API, we have AP scheduler, which is advanced Python scheduler for handling all the scheduling. So one important thing that we wanted to have with this app was that it could have pro scheduling built into it. So it has a server and a client. The server runs 24 seven. The client just schedules the post on the server. And it doesn't matter if your laptop gets destroyed or whatever, the server is still there. 
and the post is still going to happen. So it's it's 26. Let's see if the post has happened. So we have a bunch of logs here telling us that initially first is post to Mastodon, then to Twitter, and then to Reddit. And we have the response for everything over here also. So now let's just go and see the post, actual post. So we have this post on Reddit. Then we hopefully refresh to the Yes, 48 seconds yeah. ago this post. And we have 50 seconds ago this post on Nasdaq. So this is uh, how Perpetual works. Currently, there is no actual client for this. I am working on a simple CLI client that is just going to parse the YAML file and it's going to schedule all the posts for you. Yeah, so this is pretty much it for the demo. Thanks for coming. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. So, so that was the demo. Thank you. I mean, thanks, Mana, for recording that. I have, I have watched that demo like three or four times, and I always get excited when I see the the the, the post actually pop up in the in the <laughs> social media platforms. Although I already know that it's going to happen, but anyway, <laughs> anyway, so so this solves several things. Uh, it solves the problem of multi-posting. So, so uh, uh, let me let me qualify that. It's not because Manaf has done a bad job or anything like that. You, as you as you can see, it works. The thing is that at the moment, and uh, this is this is what uh, Manaf was able to develop in in the time allocated in the in the season of KDE. At the moment, it posts only to three of the platforms that we uh, support that we regularly post to. So it posts it posts to um, uh, ready it posts to Twitter and it posts to Mastodon right um, uh, we have tried uh, uh, Facebook but Facebook is very very complicated uh, we'll figure it out sooner or later uh, and uh, so on uh, so multi po po uh, posting works and also um, uh, uh, scheduling works. Scheduling uh, already works completely well, as you have been able to see. And as Manaf said, what uh, what happens is that you can have a server out on the internet running twenty four seven, and you can post uh, your your stuff. You can send the stuff to the the server and the server will be in charge of scheduling it, not each individual platform. So uh, uh, the scheduling happens at the server level, not on, on the platform. So we don't have to worry about all the different ways scheduling has been implemented in each of the platforms. Um, then uh, this is not implemented yet. This is the, uh, the question of roles. So what uh, what we want to we what what we want to have is to able to be able to have um, um, teams access in the server with different privileges so that you will have an admin who will be able to assign roles you will have an editor who will be able to post but not assign roles for example uh, and things like that that is not done yet but well it is in in our future we are uh, as you have as you saw from the video you are it does have a login, so it's not open to anybody. But at the moment, it's very much uh, like one only user. But hey, you know. Uh, again, this when we get this implemented, it will solve a lot of problems because uh, each platform, uh, Facebook and Twitter and uh, Reddit, etc., implements roles in a different way. Again, so we will have only one way and and it will be done by the cockatoo server next um this is this is private you can run 
it on your own server or you can run it locally and you can just connect to it uh, locally so no although of course we haven't stress tested it uh for vulnerabilities or anything like that we haven't done anything like that um uh, it is already uh, a bit better than sharing all your stuff with the platform that you pay for so you know because you can run it locally and it only gets the stuff um you want it to get and oh before i go on that uh, i've i've missed uh, apparently um uh a slide it is also flexible because it's plugin based so each of the platforms it posts to is implemented in a plugin so the as as new um, mm, uh, social media platforms appear or if you want to do a, a niche if you want to post to a niche platform you would have to develop obviously you would have to develop a, a, a plugin for that and just plug it into to the cockatoo server and you will have it uh, implemented now how hard uh, uh, it is going to be to write the plugin for that platform will depend on the api of of the platform of course but for things like uh, the fediverse it's pretty easy because you know we document everything everything is open etc for twitter apparently it wasn't very hard either and for reddit either facebook we did have a problem but uh, there you go um yeah so it's time to meet our mascot as the title of the of the talk uh said this is called cockatoo because cockatoo are noisy little birds that and we make noise on um social media and that's why it's cockatoo and also because cockatoo spelt with a k of course and the our mascot is called carmen which is nice little cockatoo uh, and it was designed by uh somebody on the krita artist uh uh discourse forum uh, he was very very kind and he created all this and he created our logo and he created a little icon and it, they are very pretty and very funny now now comes what we need from from you folks um so to continue the process of course manav is going to continue developing but it would be good if we had uh, some support from other developers so for example uh, i've divided them into what we want short term mid term and long term short term we need a client a, a, a mainly a proof of of concept client uh, manav uh, uh, tried to develop uh, a cli uh, client for for this uh, talk but he didn't have time so uh, we want first that something that we can just use from the command line just to you know test it and we also need the rest of the plugins for the the rest of the platforms we support so as i say facebook we haven't got a plugin we haven't got a plugin for instagram we haven't got the plugin for linkedin and we haven't got a plugin for um hacker news either and we haven't got one for diaspora and those i think are all the platforms that we regularly post to and we need a plugin for each of those right that's the short term then uh we would need uh, uh this is in not in any particular order of importance but we would need to implement the roles and privileges of course as i mentioned before at the moment it is one user gets uh the login and does all the posting uh and we would want to be able to assign teams uh, to to posting because that is what we actually have in promo we have actually a, a team of people who have access to the to the social media platforms and they are who post uh, we would also want to implement accounts now this is different from from implementing roles and privileges uh, i for example manage personally i manage um, three accounts for kd i manage the kd uh, uh, three accounts for kd on twitter sorry i manage the kd community account i manage i also can post to the academy account and i can also post to the lab 
plot account. So we would also want to implement that, that one user could have several accounts. So uh, several people should be able to post to one account and one, uh, one person should be able to post to several accounts, uh, ideally, right? So that's another thing. It will also be cool to have a convergent client. I don't know if the Tokoton Toc people are here, but if they are, uh, you know, uh, convert, if you can convert your Mastodon client into uh, into a Cockatoo client, that would be really, really cool. So that we could have a, a, a graphic client. I don't know what that would look like because, as I say, this is not a, a one to one thing. You don't have one message to one account like you have in, you would have in your Tokaton. You have se you have potentially several messages to several platforms. How that would look um, instead of a, a big long list of of fields and stuff like that, maybe something node based. I don't know what it would look like. This is, I think, uh, an interesting challenge. We also want to create uh, uh, the API documentation so that people outside from our immediate, uh, outside even from KD, can develop um, plugins for their own platforms. And we want to set up a server. We want to set up a server for for the, the KD community so that all projects can um, post uh, using this system to all the, the social media accounts they have. This would be really, really cool thing to have. Long term, well, it would be interesting to turn it into an end user package. So package the server with uh, maybe a down, a watered down server uh, with uh, a client so that, you know, people could just have it installed locally on their on their desktops or on their mobile phones or whatever. And they could manage several of their own accounts, um, uh, not maybe getting rid of the team stuff, maybe getting rid of the 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 multiple of oh, the multiple role stuff so that it's a, it's a watered down version and, and it works on a on a phone so that you know you can just put it out like an app and people can manage several um accounts uh, there are several uh, social media accounts from one place uh it would be nice to have a dashboard to see how um posts are going this is a typical thing in the other proprietary solutions. So you post and it also tells you how it's doing, what sort of engagement it's getting, how it's doing compared to other posts you have made, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. That would be nice. I mean, it's not, not a, a, a priority. Uh, it would also be, uh, this engagement feature is just being able to uh, respond to when people comment or reply, etc., to whatever you tweet or whatever you post on Reddit, etc., directly from that. Again, not super urgent, not a super priority, but nice to have. And finally, make it into a service that the whole world can enjoy. That would be a, a great thing to be able to do. So that's it. And I think we have 10 minutes. Is that correct, Adam? Yes, yes, we have 10 minutes. So we have, uh, that's the end of the presentation. And uh, you can find the code there, right? That is Manav's uh, personal repository on uh, event. So questions. Okay, thank you very much, Paul. Thank you, Mana, for the presentation, the demo. Um, we don't have questions yet from the audience, but personally, I, I would like to ask a bit about the mascot, <laughs> yeah. if, I, if, if I can. Yeah. Uh, I, I really like, um, like uh, sorry, what, what, what was the name again? Ka Carmen. Carmen, the, the Carmen cockatoo. The cockatoo. Car all with K. <laughs> okay, amazing. Um, so will it uh, join the the other big mascots of of, of KDE? As I... Yes, exactly. We 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 followed AK. Uh, we followed IK's, uh, uh, a lead. He he when he was uh, making Kirogi, he went to uh, to also to the Blender Artists Forum and asked. And 
well, the people there, they are so, they are so kind and they're so talented. They, I mean, it was no question. I, uh, after a day, we had like five different, different mascots in different styles. Uh, this is the one we liked most. It's because it's really cute and funny. Yeah, it's a, uh, it's a very nice, uh, nice mascot. Um, yeah, so I'm not seeing uh, questions right now. So this I, always I, happens to me. Everybody goes to the other room. Uh, uh, Everybody is watching the QT, the the, the cute six uh, talk by Lars. You should. This is. You should put me when something when something rubbish is happening in the other room, not something good. First of all, <laughs> there's never rubbish on Academy. <laughs> no, that's Second true. Of, Second of all, we do have viewers, and they were enjoying the talk. I'm, I'm very sure. They're just probably not uh, not sure what to um, what to ask the tool. I it's a new tool. Well, there's a, I think there's a lot of technical things you could ask Mana. There's tons of technical things you could ask. Yeah, I I think for the technical stuff, maybe we, maybe Mana can hang out in the um, yeah. in the academy tax uh, room and. <laughs> And in that case, so, so the, we can just chat about that, or in the just academy attendees uh, general chat yeah. as well. Okay, thank you very much, both both of you for uh, for this uh, presentation, uh, yeah. and good luck with uh, using Kukatu and uh, upgrading it with yeah. new and new features. And yeah, thank you. Let's hope somebody saw this. <laughs> Paul, oh, I'm I'm pretty sure people did. I'm pretty sure people did. Thank you very much. All right, bye bye.